my my jason has J- <laughs> sure. this line is giving me a stroke jason has you quite busy oh 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 my god i'm such an idiot <laughs> Really? That's interesting. Jason, has you quite busy today? That's, <laughs> that's how I read it. Jason, do you have our stupid? <laughs> do you no, have our quite does, busy apparently. today? My, my. Jason, has he quite busy today? Uh, <laughs> Jason, has you been quite busy today? <laughs> has you been quite busy today? <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, yeah. But it's been great. I feel like I've learned a lot. I'm oh, so done. After a few minutes of correcting my poor navigation, we finally made it to the Tesco. It's a bit surreal how different it is what? from the deep woods. The cam he just finds a Bucky's in the middle of the woods. Bussies. <laughs> Welcome back to Camp Crystal. Can I interest you in some bussies? Do you want some bussy meat? Bussy. Dude, I love eating at bussies. My, I like this bussy the beaver guy. Bussy the beaver. <laughs> Y'all from Texas? That, I hope that's you my know. head canon that the Bucky's Beaver is now named Bussy the Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone Bucky's, from Texas right now is pissed bussies? at me. Holy shit. I'm sweaty. With that, I'm sweaty. he was gone, wandering off somewhere across the campsite. To the Tesco. <laughs> there and back again by Bilbo Boobies. Bilbo Boogans. <laughs> by Booby Bagos. <laughs> <laughs> by Boobin Bagtit. <laughs> Boob and bag tits. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I'm gonna piss myself off. You're going wait, wait, back am I in going time. Back? What's oh, shit. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I picked up my balls. <laughs> Boob All right, let's let's uh let's <laughs> let's move forward through time really fast. I picked up my bags and headed towards my cabin. I relieved with ten minutes. I was minutes away from a well-deserved nap. And relieved myself before I slept. Number sixteen. Uh? Jason Voorhees' massive cock on airplane. <laughs> <laughs> By boobin' back tits. By boobin' back tits. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's froggo back tits. <laughs> I trudged down the path, watching the cabin emerge from the cover of the trees. Counselors were hanging around the cabin's porch, talking amongst themselves and getting in their room assignments with the big, massive Burger King foot lettuce standing in the middle of the way. Who's Kevin? Uh, Liz Liz will be Kevin. Yo! It's Kevin's penetrator, secretly. (laughs) Yo. (laughs) A voice called out to me. My heart. It could have Yeah, you. Come over here. I need you to get signed in. Wow. There, what are the chances that it could be the secret identity of the penetrator? Number 16. This number 17, Jason Voorhees, ex penetrator. Uh, ex Slim Shady. Ex Slim Shady. <laughs> ex Reader. We, we love the fan fiction of the penetrator, ex Jason, ex Slim Shady by Boop and Boobo bag tits. No, it's boobin bag tits. Boobin bag tits. If we were, if we, if we were massive, I would hope that someone would like, actually go out of their way to like make an account on Wattpad called Boobo Baggins. And- <laughs> Boobo bag tits. <laughs> boobin bag tits. Oh, man. Yeah, and come again. Ugh. By boob- boobin bag tits. <laughs> to come and come again. And All right. the Lord of the Cock Ring by Fogo Bountains. <laughs> Letting out a sigh? I'm so lucky. I get to hang out with Jason again tomorrow? Jason, has you been quite busy today? <laughs> Thank you, Pamela. mind waiting for some help yeah there's something of a low chuckle that muffles behind his hockey mask it makes my body feel hot all over with ease jason sets me back upright adjusting the tiki torches in my arms properly before placing his hand at the small of my back in encouragement i can't help but beam at him a bit and he can't help but soften his gaze when i do a gentle exchange of silent acknowledgement he turns his attention back to stomping the stakes in the ground already partially done with the first tent before turning it into a to the side to sign to me. I don't mind. I'm almost done with the tents here. Give me a moment. I find myself waiting patiently, rocking back and forth on my heels as I watch Jason work on the tents with practice, speed, and accuracy. I came from years of being here, I think to myself. It's his entire life. His entire world. 
My feet tap against one another, impatiently wanting to work alongside him, and when he finally finishes, I bounce up eagerly. We take to the trails, and he extends a hand out to take some of the weight from my arms. Once he finds the familiar holes in the earth from prior torches, we each take a side and get to work. So, you never told me. Have you and your mother been here for a long time? No. We have. She's owned and take care of Crystal Lake longer than I've been around. I imagine it'll always be like that. I find myself saddened by that thought. Sure, it makes sense. If he grew into this life, then of course he'd picture himself only doing that, but does that mean he never tried to make any personal time for himself? I felt my tongue get heavier. Have you ever thought about doing something else? Passion projects or trade work, maybe? I've seen some of your wood carvings. They're pretty amazing. They're have you considered opening up, opening up an Etsy shop? I have bought an OnlyFans. They're all of the same damn mask that he wears. There's a brief pause on his end that I noticed, and I felt myself tense up clutching the tiki torch tighter. The counselor tends to look over his shoulder, contemplative, then plants another torch in the ground with ease. I breathe a sigh of relief, swallowing the lump in my throat. It was spoiled milk. I watch him stand up again, rolling his shoulders, and he turns to me as I finish up on my own torches. Just a lump of fucking spoiled milk in my throat. Oh, wow, Carbonized he's finally milk. out of there. Getting crusty, uh, oh staying in there for that long. Most people don't know about that hobby. It's nice. Someone recognizes it. Thank you. Swallowing spoiled milk. Yeah, I do recognize it. It looks like ass. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. For what? Swallowing spoiled milk? Stop! For your time. It's nice to be able to talk to someone about something other than work, such as spoiled milk. There's no way to describe the feeling I get in my chest at that admission. Uh, oh, Hearing that's the what words, it was. Hearing the words spoiled milk is making me squirm, and I don't like it. My heart hammers away at the rib cage, and I feel my palms get sweaty, arms heavy, mom spaghetti. <laughs> You really, really felt that way? I couldn't help but give a crooked smile, nodding. Of course. I'm glad. I'm glad I could do that for you, Mr. Voorhees. Mr. Jorges. Mr. Jorge. Hmm. Jason. He thinks for a long time. <laughs> Jason, has you been quite busy today? <laughs> he thinks for a long time, shaking his head, SMH, as he tries to process the way his full name sounds. This wasn't something he understood. Why wouldn't you call him by his first name? He looks back to me and steps much, much closer. I would be prefer to be called Pet. <laughs> so you're gonna say Daddy, but and, right. and I would prefer to call you Master, if that's okay. I am mm -hmm. not into this. I could also call you <laughs> m, m Senpai. How about um m, m chan I nod once more, perhaps I think, perhaps a bit more hurriedly than I realized. That the past Jason. Jason it is then. I think we're done here actually. Should we head back? Maybe make a post together on Tumblr? He nods and without much preamble, steps into and steps in time with me as we begin to head back to the campsite. A few branches off to the woods had pulled his attention away from idle conversation, pausing at the weight of them being snapped underfoot, forcing the head counselor to investigate, but to no avail. I felt something in my gut coil nervously, but as his assurance, my concerns melted away. Whatever could have been ruining out there was certainly no threat to them. Especially if Jason was with me. No, instead of focus on the next task at hand. Sucking his mass. Uh, looks like everything's done. Man, it got dark really fast. By the time the sun had set, all the kids had taken to their, re their tents, sleeping bags in hand, and got to running around enjoying the activities of the night. I ducked back into the cafeteria to get the menu for the evening. Something every child, and even adults like myself, would look forward to. Fried chicken, drumsticks three cheese mac and cheese, and a side of veggie fries. For dessert, Jason had opted to vote for apple slices, but there was no moving me when it came to s'mores. It took some doing, but the night had gone so well, it was like he was willing to go along with whatever I recommended. I shouldn't let this get to my head, but I don't know. I think I like him a lot more than I realized. Oh, really? Like, feeling your heart beat out of your chest, swallowing spoiled milk, pausing my walking, exhaling softly and smiling to myself. Like she Sorry, I thought of something else. <laughs> When you're uh, heart beating out of your chest, and you swallow spoiled milk, and my mind went, when you got a quivering boy pussy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> bussy. Wait, we got bussies here! There's a Tesco <laughs> and a bussies! I paused in my, my, in my walking, exhaling softly, and smiling to myself, clutching the trays before looking out to where Jason had been. A few of the children, there are, there are weird children outside. Weird children. Stop. And I had gathered around him, watching with anticipation as he showed them the proper way to sharpen a stick for them to roast their marshmallows on. Even with full bellies, the moment, des the moment desert was mentioned, they got really fucking thirsty. 
Even with full bellies the moment dessert was mentioned, they were ready for more. It was adorable. Seeing him mesh so effortlessly with the, ch with the kids, especially given his age and sometimes brash temperament. I head over, waiting until most of the kids were see massive. Damn, he's tits. got bigger tits than we do. That's about the same size. Settled before ba breaking in their concentration. Is that is that blonde kid? Is that his nostrils or is that his eyeballs? Those were his eyes. <laughs> I can't he's, tell. He's got no eyes. It's just his mouth no. and nose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is jolly like a fucking snake. Drum roll? No drum roll, guys? Oh, I'm gonna have to eat all these on my own. Marshmallows! Give me, give me! I laughed a bit, feeling small hands tugging at my cargo shorts and pull- What- what cargo what? shorts? <laughs> what cargo <laughs> shorts? You're right! And pulling me off balance a bit. Once I gather the crowd, I found my gaze traveling upward and locking eyes with the head counselor. Who? He was giving me such a look, so new and intense, I thought my heart would fly out of my throat, and the spoiled milk out my what? ass. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I swallowed the spoiled milk. <laughs> I'm gonna- I'm gonna eat my cheese and cracker. The drug of ants pulling me back to reality. Snap back to reality. Oh, up to ghost gravity. gravity. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you oh, what. Sorry. The one that who sits- The one who sits the most still and doesn't blink gets three marshmallows off the bat. Ready? This is the biggest this one. fucking- He has no eyes. <laughs> He's got no <laughs> eyes. He's just nostrils. It took a little effort to quarrel them all. But once Coral? The it says it right there, coral. Corral. Corral, golden corral them. Okay, well, I guess we'll put them on the menu. But once the marshmallows went onto the sticks and the kids had all of their chocolate and graham crackers set up, I finally found the time to sit what down. What the fuck is going on with Slim Shady's inner monologue? Why? <laughs> An explosive tired little raspberry flew past my lips as I had five marshmallows lined up ready for the building when a shadow loomed over my head. Oh, my gaze looked upward, smirking as the head counselor took his seat beside me, eyeing me stick in his contents. I could I could sense the judgment. That he's yet. I built the first play stick of the pudding in my thighs and popped it in my mouth to sign him. What? Uh, also, for some reason, Jason, I started thinking like in Irish. Irish. <laughs> Isn't five excessive? Never. It's hardly enough. You can't go camping without s'mores. It's, it's practically illegal, There's you no know. There's no space between that. Jason rolled his eyes. Bit in his own s'mores and slide it between his mask, patting the crumbs off his shirt. You fucking stop! <laughs> Didn't notice his way his eyes lingered on the Marshall the Collective. Only on the happenings, on the day's happenings, and the kids conversing around the bonfire. He moved closer, scooping up me Melton marshmallow and brushing his hand across the top of me knee and his thigh. I choked on the s'more, pounding at my chest before swilling my head back to look at him, locking in lips. <laughs> 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 All right. Locking in another tense, looking against again. Although this time he seemed barely aware of his eye effect. His eye hadn't. It could have burned, you know. Here. I looked at the paper plate he had offered me, but it was quick to return back to this crystal eyes of his. I chewed slower, blinking before looking away shyly with a chuckle. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> he screeched like a hawk of delight. Ah! And you go. Right. <laughs> you go. Hey. <laughs> Once I, once I was ready to set the desert in my mouth, I just transferred the marshmallows into the plate, starting with my free hand. I cannot imagine all three of us playing D&D &D together. Thank you. It's been a long time since I've enjoyed these. Maybe since the last time I was at camp myself, actually. I've never been to a summer camp. I don't know what it's like. This is my first time, actually. What? There's no way. If you grew up here, you had to have had the chance once or twice. Did you just not like them? There was a moment of silence for the two of us share. And I feel my stomach not because of it. He looks drawn to the bonfire, especially because of the fucking spoiled milk. Especially because you don't know how to speak in the same fucking accent for more than five lines. He looks down to the bonfire. Oh my god, go back to the Irish. <laughs> we are not doing that one. I wouldn't go much further. I wouldn't go any further. Oh. I'm moved. I'm moved by the few kids take to running down the trail. My brows knit together in tight concern. Jason? I wasn't exactly popular with other kids. I was bullied often because I was a femboy. It was easier to be myself than to be around other kids. Sometimes, around the other counselors, it still feels that way. Stupid cons- STUPID! Yeah, you are. <laughs> Stupid considering I'm a grown- I'm a grown boy now. Oh well, I apologize. You didn't ask for a sob story of me being in a maid outfit. Uh, yes I did. And in an instant, I felt my heart sink like a ship. Like the ship in the 1989 horror classic Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan? As I watch him now, the nonchalance in his amendments, I feel an urge to rise up inside me. I could chase it, I tell myself, or I can let him be. 
That or <laughs> spoiled milk coming back up. Regardless, something is coming. <laughs> I could chase out of one of my holes, and I don't know which one. Something is coming out of one of my holes. It's like one of those written by Boop and Bang. It's, <laughs> it's like one of those children's maze on the back of a cereal box. Uh, I'm gonna take some of the most out out of pocket lines from this and like make really shitty covers. And just have written by Boob Boob and Bagdits. Boob and Bagdits. Just a picture of like ba Bilbo Baggins, but it's like a horribly compressed JPEG. It's like when they take those you know, you pictures know I mean? and they cut them into pixels and they fit it to where it's like it, it's still the image, but it's much worse. No, it's mm -hmm. like you know, like people make those Gandhi quotes like on the black screen. But it's, it's inspirational a Bilbo quotes. <laughs> no matter what, regardless, something is coming out of one of these holes. <laughs> Which Quote, one? I do not know. <laughs> Maybe he didn't need to be smothered. I didn't want him to feel that I was pitying. But what if link your fingers together? Scoot closer and rub his dick. Uh, okay, so I think link your fingers together, because if we touch him, then he'll kill us. Yeah. It takes a moment or two, but I follow my instinct to move a little closer. Linking my little pinky finger first with a settled against this the top of the little wall. piggy went to the Market. It's a simple, intimate gesture, but one that does not provoke a strong response out of him. Outside of a jarring flinch to the stimuli that my hand does on his. In fact, his attention turns entirely on me, and I feel my cut, my heart for him hit all the strong. How could someone be so cruel to someone so kind? Kids can be cruel, and you don't deserve to be treated like that. I'm really sorry, Jason. I hope you never feel that way again. If you do, you can talk to me, all right? No, I can... feel like that one kid with brown hair in the back right now. That's me. Crying? Yes. <laughs> no. No, he cannot process the way he and felt not at words the sob and story. I knew off the bat, tell by the way he leaned closer, that he felt comfortable with the note. I'm very young. Right there, the wild. The wild Jason fucking sucks dick. Whoa! His finger fell at my skin, pressing against the mood ring. <laughs> you have a mood God ring? Damn it. I had kept since my childhood. And you went to from Irish to old man, and now you're Australian. Go back to the Irish or do a normal hold on, voice. Hold on, let me go upside down real quick. I can't read it. All right. I'm upside down now. I can read the fucking words. Investigating the texture of the fall, finally setting and licing his fingers to get with mine entirely. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, wait, oh, wait. I wouldn't go any further. <laughs> no, he has I to be go any bottom further. three. Thank you. I hope I didn't make you uncomfortable. Uh, I don't want you to feel like you have to be so kind and open like your legs. <laughs> I want to leave. Cheese and crackers time. <laughs> Extra I'm kind cheese. To you. I'm kind to you because I want to be silly. I would have thought you knew as much based off today alone. I really enjoy spending time with you. If I could, I I think that I wouldn't finish reading. I think if I could, I think I'd spend all day with you. If I'd I really you enjoy chance. spending time with you. If I could? If I could? <laughs> if, I, if I could? If I knew if I what I was reading? saying? Another long pause of silence and a look of disbelief before canting his head to the side curiously. A fool of a duck! <laughs> Baboon backed it. Boobin bag tits. <laughs> I like baboon bag tits. <laughs> no baboon bag tits. The ring is our responsibility. Ring to rule them all. One cock ring to get stuck on your dick. One vibrating cock ring to rule them all. <laughs> I didn't think today was special, other than it being a date, maybe, but those are normal with people you enjoy, isn't it? He said it was a what? He said it was what? I feel what in my socket light at it almost immediately, stammering aloud before smiling wildly, the way one does when they're absolutely nervous as hell. I'm gonna squeeze your goddamn nipples and if you don't read like a normal human being. Wow, Australians aren't normal human beings? That's fucking racist. I mean that you're changing the accent every five minutes. You mean a normal American. A normal American? Please Guns, America, a... trucks, <laughs> legs, anti-gay. I need some cheese and crackers by Baboon Bag Tits. By baboon. <laughs> of course. Of course I did. Jason nodded, slipping his hand free from my own and planting them both on top of his knee. What the fuck is a kilometer? Ah! <laughs> There's a look of relief in his eyes before playing off the nerves of admitting his scheme and isolating on a date. He doesn't mind that the silence is a bit awkward. He's basking in the moment all the same of her shared enjoyment. I'm glad. Shared? I don't think it was. 
Slim Shlady. Slim Shlady? Slim Shlady. <laughs> Sorry, that was the spoiled milk coming back up. I don't think I would have wanted to spend it. <laughs> I'm <time> glad. <laughs> Slim Slim's lady. Slim shows. <laughs> oh my god. My hands rolled into the palms quietly as the night had gone on, and all the while my eyes never once left Jason's form. He shat himself. That's <laughs> <laughs> all the spoiled milk we ate together. <laughs> it was like cheese, but watery. <laughs> Chunky. What? Dude, do you remember what was that movie called? I don't remember what it was called, but there's a game. Chunky had... by Bob. <laughs> <laughs> no. There was this place. It... <laughs> is that like is that like Chucky, but he's like fat, small, chunky? <laughs> <laughs> chunky by Bo Baboon, Baboon Bactits. It's just a fat child. <laughs> also known as my fat idiot son. <laughs> 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 oh, take him back! We don't want him! Come get your fucking son! Bye, ladies. Please leave. Anyway, there <laughs> is this- is I don't. I think- I don't remember what the movie was called, but there's this- They- they, they showed this guy drinking this thing called badger milk, and it's like, straight up chunk- <sighs> I watched as he took this on getting kids tucked in. <laughs> He sounded like Gollum. Smeagol knows. Smeagol knows how to read. All I did was grab Autumn's throat, and she went like Smeagol does. <laughs> Smeagol watched does he took to get in the habits of Tartan, assuring them that whatever the shadows they had seen on the trails. <laughs> For the imagination, before sending the habits off to Betsy's. Uh, they made the put the uh, they put the penis in body. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what the anymore. fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> you know what the fuck? <laughs> Bjorn has been born. <laughs> Holy shit! I don't know Smeagol what the fuck. We go from Smeagol to penis in body. Uh, I'm what thinking, the fuck? I think I was trying to say that quote of that guy who went like they used their dicks like big toys. Because like there was like this like anti-gay propaganda ad I think from like- Why? <laughs> I do not have a drop of alcohol in me but I feel drunk playing oh this. I don't God. Know. <laughs> You're not the only one. I'm going fucking insane! Holy shit. Please. They eat the poo-poo like ice cream. Not even nine o'clock. They eat the poo-poo like ice cream. That's what I was trying to go off of. Okay, read the line, please. And, and picking up the toys and scattering marshmallows covered sticks but in the chipper. So it was gay. Actual date? Hold it a date. Instinct had my hands slapping at my face. Go groaning with the familiarity. <laughs> My face. Sorry, I have the giggles. <laughs> I legit, I legit th I said, I thought that said gooning, and I was like, no, I'm not supposed to be gooning right now. Why did I draw knees on my chest? I have no idea. But now my 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 now my knees are where my nipples are. Mm. Huffing the glue tiredly of the day, entire day's activities were picked apart one by one, all encircling back to him. Something inside of me felt like it was almost upset that the that this was a date, considering how deep I was in his ass. How not deep yet. How deep in I was becoming. Surely a date would end in a kiss, wouldn't it? Oh, the mere thought of my oh. Thought of me, my head spinning. Ugh. The mere thought of reading this is making my head spin. The mere thought of being with you is making my head spin. I found myself ashamed. Jason wasn't someone that just ran ahead kissing uh, and sleeping with whoever you wanted. That was for the stupid, insensitive dipshits like Kevin. Okay. <laughs> wow. Fucking Kevin. Uh, Fuck Kevin. Why I is guess. this so? The shriek almost sent a me flying out of my skin. <laughs> sent a me flying out of my skin. <laughs> Tanging up right, I have fast and nearly fell all of my weight to topple over. Another side of the log. We're gonna I found send a Luigi. anyone who watches this for a fucking loop. <laughs> I found a Luigi. Good. Funnily enough, uh, in the child who has tossed myself Slim into my arms. Shady X Jason, written by Baboon Baggins, <laughs> and the really inner weird. monologue just changes in accent every five minutes. It's just a different. But every single we one of them started at Comic Sans. How did it get like this? It got to papyrus. Ah, pills and snot soaked <laughs> pant legs of my khakis. 
And before what? I could get I thought it was cargo <laughs> shorts. The child gripped in my fear at my shirt, pulling down in a frenzy. Slim Shady. The worst. Slim Shady, this come is the quick. the worst. I saw it. It's by the lake. It almost ate my face off. I wish it did. You gotta slow down, okay? Take a deep breath for me, okay? I had a bad thought. Do so you remember that kid we were making fun of because he didn't have eyes? <laughs> he was eaten by the monster. No, it's just like, we almost ate my face off, and I was about to say, what face? <laughs> Is that child A? <gasps> I don't know. I forgot what fucking read voice the, I was just using. Just read the line. It took me. It took me to do it. Autumn just read it. Just, it took watching me to do it. But as I fell into a crouch and calmly held the child in place, breathing in deep for him to follow, he nodded in a power and tried to stabilize me, his breathing. I'm understimulated. Ow! We repeated the process for him. And finally, after a couple of minutes, he was able to speak coherently past his hiccuping and nerves. Anna and the Mabel dared me to throw a rock at it. I'm going to fucking <laughs> cheese and crackers you! In the woods. But the Luigi never think there's a monster. But I heard it. It was a Bowser. And it even looked. Oh, <laughs> 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 I'm fucking tearing up now. <laughs> when did Drew Lynch get here? Why is he doing a Mario impression? <laughs> Sick beat you were just dropping there, Slim Shady. Hey, yo, man, I gotta make that in my new well, rap. Why are you sleeping in your tent, Marcus? <laughs> It's a Mario! Marcus. It's a Mario! Oh, no. he's still young camper A. I thought his name was Marcus. We we had that wanted to make a wake wake up a prank of fish. So, so, we, do -go -do -go -do -go. so we were oh. going to sleep at the river. I nodded at the young boy. It might have not flown with Jason had he told him, but I could understand if anything. I rose to my feet and scooped the young boy into my arms carefully like a fucking bowl of ice cream. Turning into the woods with a big heavy sigh. <gasps> <gasps> Jason was- that's a yawn. Jason was still <laughs> gathering up with the other children at the it entrance of the campsite. Yawn. So, I ha I'd have to handle this on my own for now. Determination took over, and with a firm nod, I looked up to the boy, sniffling and rubbing his snot across his pajama sleeves. Alright, Marcus. It's Mario! You're gonna have to be brave for me, but- <laughs> Alright, Mario. It's a Mario! <laughs> <laughs> he fucking broke me. Oh my god. Alright, Mario, you're gonna have to be big and brave for me, buddy. Can you tell me exactly where you and the girls saw the big monster? We have to get your sleeping bags back, okay? But the what the f- <laughs> Hey, I, I won't let anything happen to you, okay? If you get scared, you can just run as fast as you can. And I'll keep the monster distracted with my cock, because it's obviously Jason. I'm a camp counselor, so you know what that means. The boy shook his head, wearing his puppy dog <laughs> eyes proudly. I smiled at him, wiping his tears with a curl of my finger to his cheek. I'm practically a superhero. I like just a, like- Like a, like a me, 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 Steve, or he's. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. Just like him. But, but, but he's a lot, a lot cooler. He, he has a lot of mama -ma muscle than you. <laughs> I felt myself wow. deflate with a raspberry. <laughs> Pursing my lips indignantly. My kid, I mean that kid, really were <laughs> cruel little assholes when they wanted to be. I thought to myself, I smile regardless, shaking my head a bit of the small boy. A bit of out of the smaller boy. Maybe. Uh, maybe I'm not the smaller boy. I'm, I'm just a short <laughs> plumber. <laughs> maybe. But I'm a lot faster, so you with me, Marcus. The young boy gave a nod, and I returned it with one of my own. With a child in my arms, we both began to head wow, down the But I'm a lot faster. Wow. Yeah, I'm Shunnick. <laughs> Looking side to side through the tenebrous tenebr dark, the pines forming a sea of trees that felt as if they had gone on for miles and miles. I felt a shudder run down my spine at the idea of actually finding something lurking around the woods, especially after the roll of the stuff I heard today, too. Jason had said he'd never found anything, but I found myself in disbelief then. There was too much noise, too much rustling and displacement in the woods for there to be nothing. We had been on trail for some time, and if you're 15 minutes or give or take, we had heard it in at the same time. The sound of something heavily breathing, snipping brunishes underfoot with weight of steps. Hold on, you said brunishes? <laughs> I don't know. 
I feel like my brain is rotting from the inside. I don't know if it's this game or what. I don't know what's happening. Has bad psychological effects on all of us. I have no words. On a knee jerk, I slapped a hand over the mouth of the young boy who was ready to scream. And I, I don't even remember what the fuck happened in the last line. And threw us both behind the safety of a tree, sliding against it and falling in a couch. I felt my throat lock up, sweating despite the cold of the, of the late evening. And feeling my heart hammering. I, I still have some residual uh, milk in there. Oh. Hammering away in my chest. Okay, when I say run, you need to run. Okay, Marcus? Mario. Don't look back. Uh, okay, Marcus? Mario. Don't look back or stop. <laughs> the boy nodded frantically, tears pricking, what a prick, in his eyes again as the sound of heavy footsteps came closer and closer. The more I listened to it, the more I realized I recognized what creature it was. There wasn't a camper alive who didn't recognize the heavy growling of a grizzly. And while they had every right to be in the forest, it didn't make the fear of being attacked by a bear any better. Hey, I'm looking for the gay bar. Do you have any directions by any chance? Do you have any directions to some hot men? They were. I got on Tinder. They were still they were... territorial. And they were camping in their backyard after all. They're just like parked right behind a gay bar. It's not like an actual but, bear, it's just like, dude. No, no, like, like fucking buckies, like you get the in bussies. and they're like, turns out it was bussies and it's actually a gay bar. Bussy the gay bar. Feeling for any- it's just like bussies stripping on the pole. Bussy the beaver stripping. <laughs> and finally I found uh, purchase yeah. against a heavy rock, swallowing a round lump in my throat. It was spoiled milk again. <laughs> We're leaving around the trunk of a tree, both in behind. <laughs> At the sight of the lumbering mass of shadow, I was quick to pitch the rock in the opposite direction of camp, watching as the animal flinched and let out a ferocious roar. Meow! <laughs> 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 no, I want to <laughs> Color left my face, my body, if I had a mirror proper to see it, I imagined. But fortunately, it took off running in the direction of the noise and it gave me enough time to push the young boy in the direction of the campsite. Go! Distract it! <laughs> Go! Be eaten! Go! To make a sacrifice. Marcus or Mario, whoever you want to think, wasted no time, nodding and whimpering. <laughs> oh no! I don't want to die! <laughs> whimpering as he ducked in and out of the tree line, disappearing into the night toward the sleeping. Finally, he's fucking gone. Not the hit! Never to be seen again. My legs felt like yellow. I rolled my head back, exhaling shakily as I opened my eyes, and took in the shifting expanse of leaves and canopy in it. Canopy! Canopy! Bro, this, from this, this game has made my canopy? legs feel like jello. Jeez, my brain feels like jello. Okay, Slim Shady, we got two choices. <laughs> Just take it to Why am Just I- Why do back. I find that funny? Okay, Just anyway. Pull back. Pull back and okay, look at the Slim scenery. Shady. There's Mario, there's Gandalf, there's an Irish man. There's an Australian. Apparently, the penetrator is still here. <laughs> the penetrator is somewhere. Like, where, where? Sonic and Shadow are here? You know where I am? We're parked behind In a hell. pussy's gay bar. Oh, yeah. And I guess Jason Voorhees. And there's a Tesco in the United States. This is my hell. This is my hell. <laughs> I want someone to write a fan fiction. Program. Jason, has you been busy lately? <laughs> Oh All right, Jason, next, has next you been fucking busy? Line. Question mark. <laughs> oh god, save. Let's fucking save. <clears throat> um, it should be gone now, and I know I saw those sleeping bags across the way. If I can see what the tracks look like, I can definitely confirm if it's a bear or not. I stepped carefully from around the tree. I think you can tell by the noise it makes. Rare. The rare. <laughs> 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 Obviously means it's a grizzly bear. <laughs> All grizzly bears go, rear. <laughs> the ferocious roar. Rear, <laughs> rear. It's obviously a grizzly. You have to play dead or run for your life like that little child did straight to his death. <laughs> no, just throw a fucking like, little mouth on a string at it. Part of it. Rear, Ferocious. Rear. <laughs> One of the deadliest animals in America. One of the deadliest animals the in North America. The brown grizzly bear. The brown grizzly bear. Listen to it as it lives in its wild environment. 
I stepped carefully from around the tree, standing still for what felt like an eternity before the forest fell back into an eerily quiet and faint hum of cicadas I was so familiar with. The animal had gone a lot farther than I anticipated it to, but judging by my own careful, quiet steps, it likely thought I had gone. Good, I thought. I began to crouch forward a bit, quickly moving across the other side of the trail and tucking myself behind another tree trunk. <laughs> what are you doing with the mouse? Autumn was just casually, like... Jacking off the air. A few you know, like, fact that, like, is the fact that like her moving the mouse up and down like that, the fact that I'm like cackling at that means my humor is so <laughs> fucking broken right now. Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> and then I started to creep forward with them sleeping bags. Oh shit. I don't even know what these kids were thinking. Trying to sleep out here on their own, even with a massive scary thing running around. Yeesh. That massive scary thing goes. Oh, even eh. without there was oh, a even plenty without a massive scary of thing destruction to be seen. That I'm much fucking was murder you if you don't claw shut the marks fuck up. and evidence on nine. Get off the fucking. Sorry, cat. What the fuck? <laughs> Why would you throw a can at him? <laughs> because he's being naughty. It's like he's gonna hurt him. I didn't even throw it directly at him. I threw naughty him. like Jason is right now. On any surface worth its salt. <laughs> what was left of the bag? Ow! Ew! Why would you lick me? Because you were hitting me. Because you wouldn't shut the fuck up. I'm the narrator. Nasty ass time. bitch. A, sc a scoop of the remains of what looked like Mario stuffed dragon bazinga into my hands on the ground, letting it set and die. <sighs> Poor guy didn't even that. survive rows of teeth. I'm not surprised. I think Fern knows how to sew, though. I'll have to get this fixed up for him. If I hadn't been so on edge, I might not have noticed the sound of movement off in the distance. I snapped my head <laughs> off in this direction. Finally. Peace. Staring hard until the sound of footsteps crept closer and closer, feeling my fight or flight click clicking. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, turn my fucking balls off. <clears throat> my eyes, oh shit. My eyes darted around, settling on a heavy, heavily sticker bombed hydro flask left by one of the kids and pulling it to my grasp before starting to shuffle back to the bushes, shrinking myself the best I could. While I watched, ignoring the sting of sharp thorns pricking at my thighs and forearms, and waited for what was lurking in the shadows to come. I saw someone kill somebody with one of these things in a horror movie once. I'm not going out without a fight. Whatever pep talk I felt like I needed to give myself, had this been a horror movie, surely it would have spelt my very certain doom. While I was hyping myself up to jump but out- But it sure was... is a good thing that this isn't anything horror related. <clears throat> While I was hyping myself up to jump out what was coming, it had more than a found its way behind me, breaking a few branches as it passed through the threshold of the tree line and entered the area I had been hiding in. I remember springing upward, spinning on my heel and swinging openly with the hydro flask out before starting to plummet backwards onto my ass. Okay, with a heavenly thud really I hissed anyway. and blindly highs closed, let out a poor attempt at a battle cry. Ah! I taste like crap! Back my hell up! My arm grew heavier and heavier, stinging at the air, waiting for the connect when- when we- when we- Why weren't any of my swings connecting? I cracked my eyes open, blinking away, shock, when above me didn't stand a nine-foot bear, but almost a seven-foot man. None other than- <coughs> j, -j, 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 j jason How did you find <laughs> me? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got him! To the head counselor looked down to me. Why is there blood on your machete? The head counselor looked down to me, grabbing my wrist gently and pulling me to my feet before looking out the dirt trail behind us. It took squinting to see what I had followed was my own footprints. I planted my hand on against his face in embarrassment. Footprints. But all he had was a chuckle lowly and started pulling debris from my hair and clothes. At least if it was a bunch of concerned, crying kids, I might have felt... A little more important. I extended out the mauled stuffed animal, brushing J Jason's knuckles as I left it in his hand. I peered out, looking to see if the animal had crept up on the two of us while he spoke, but I let out a sigh of relief to see only the same brush and dark forest I had seen earlier. I moved to start walking, before, but before I could, I felt myself pull into the embrace of the head counselor, and my face heating up for possibly the hundredth time that day. <coughs> Jason? He held the hug for a, long, a little while longer, allowing me to snake my arms around his forearm. Too. No, let's change it to a long while longer. <laughs> a long while longer. And comforting yes. squeeze, I, I smiled at myself, pulling away and watching his hands wrapped. When, when Marcus got back, I thought the worst. I was worried about you. 
I love how it's perfectly placed so like you're cutting his shirt off of him. <laughs> I smiled more, uh, yes. and while I might have confused him, I couldn't help it. He was worried about me. My heart skipped a bit. You're really trying to cut that shirt. I'm trying to cut a little more, <laughs> cut a little more off there. It's not working. I wanted to make sure the kids would be safe. Stop I'm it. not sure if that means. <laughs> I'm not sure if that means that, but at least I have peace of mind that those three aren't some animals' late night snack. They would be safe with you because no. I trust you <laughs> unconditionally. Autumn. <laughs> Speaking of, I could really use some more. You know, you. The counselor rolled his eyes, placing a hand at the small of my back and guiding us out onto the trail where we'd head back to camp. It was better to make sure the kids didn't spread any wild rumors based off a mountain lion or a harmless bear cub. Oh, well, more I... for me then. Stop. Oh! No! no! God damn it, we got all this far and there's no 18 plus content! Bitch! Oh! I, wanted to, I wanted to sleep with Jason. Oh my god. Well, we're obviously going to play more of this game when uh when new updates come out. Because that was an absolute fucking blast. <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, can you just double check real quick to make sure Jason was the only one that we could have played? Yeah. Oh, oh he's the only one. Yeah. Yep. Damn. Damn. Well, I mean, I guess it's good that we chose him specifically then. Yep. I can't wait to do Freddy's. I'm just surprised there's no ghost face out of this whole lineup. Who's the guy? You really want to do Michael, face? don't you? Uh, no, Ghostface is like this. He's he's from Scream that's, and Scary uh, Movie. Oh, Razor. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the guy with the skin on his face. Oh, Leatherface. Oh, Leatherface? Yeah. Yeah, he's from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, well, that explains it. I've never seen it. It's that guy, the Valentine Day that Killer. That is. You, I know, Harry from someone Warden. who loves horror movies, who's never seen it. Like, it, I know. Have you seen My Bloody Valentine? No. Have you seen Friday the 13th? No. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. No, I think so. Have you seen Nightmare on Elm Street? Yes. Have, have, have you seen all of them? Have I seen what? All of them. Have you seen all of them? All of what? The Nightmare on Elm Street movies. I. How many are there? <laughs> There's like nine. <laughs> I've seen one. Including Freddy vs. Jason. I don't know which one, but I've seen one. Well, you gotta watch... Okay. Darman? It, it, just watch three. Watch three. Three is watch the go. Darman? Three is the best one. Autumn, do you agree with me? So we're funny. gonna watch Nightmare on Elm Street. Three is the we're best one. We're gonna watch Darman. What are we doing now? Are we are, watching oh, Darman? We get no. Well, we've got to. Well, I want to go eat. Well, yeah, so do we. Say, we need to. Re we need to eat before we recording. But um, bum bum. Thank you, everyone who watched this video. And if you got to this part of the video, we thank you a lot. And if you guys want to drop a dip down in the description, so we can pay for our small itty bitty bowls of rice, I would appreciate. it. Please write it yourself, please. Also, please. if you want, if you guys want to get a fanfic of baboon bag tits, write it yourself. I don't think I'm. If you comment below that you've done it, we will go check it out. We want to read it. We will read it on stream. Well, maybe not stream, maybe. but like please, on a video. I would love that. Well, I don't know. If we can. Oh. can even put Aaron in the, in the in the scenario. I don't. Thank you. Bye. Welp. That about wraps it up. Even though the first two episodes didn't get a great amount of views. We felt it was best to finish this because of the fact that many of you probably discovered us from watching the shorts we made of this game. So hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for what stuff we have cooking.